He was really fun to coach against, even though they had really good teams that was to be a part of. Line drive, right center field. It's a base hit. Few better than Ryan Campos. Again, Campos coming in with a 462 on base. 7 to 70. He's got 14 home runs. Pushes that butt. May hops off the mound. Sets. Fires. There's that athleticism we just talked about. Yeah. No, by no means. Oregon State's been known to have some loud fans, but I think those ASU football players are going to kind of trump them there. Well, the defense helps, certainly. That's a fine play. He found the right place. Jacob Kamatz is to your friend on that team. As that one is rolled out to short. Hainline rages over, turns it into an out. Two spots remaining in this tournament with an advance to the semis, Stanford and Arizona. 582, that's crazy. Breaking ball down off the end of the bat, dumped into left field, and that's a base hit for a great number two hitter in Michael McDowell. The strike zone was pretty tight yesterday. Elevated fastball blows him away, but he has homered seven times. Got a chance, throw high, boy, off the mark from Lance. Let's see if they can complete the rundown, and they do. The defense was there. You know, obviously he's, he's doing that. Anything, Willie, that you're looking at your club, obviously just looking at the win-loss record, it seems as if down the stretch you guys were playing better baseball. Was it an adjustment for some lineups, or certain guys playing a little bit better? You know, obviously there's some things we still got to clean up. Uh, nice pick, Lancer. Um, after, had a baby. Oh boy. Continues to progress. He'll get better in professional baseball if he proves that he can just be an everyday catch in the big leagues. Your style. Am I a speed contact guy? Am I a gap gap guy? Am I a, a power hitter? Those couple seconds on the pitcher, what's going on in the game as opposed to necessarily worrying about what pitch is being called. So it's like, it's like moments like these. They get a couple guys on. Now I'm just wait, uh, waiting and watching to say, hey, just like Jabe did right there. You got it. Let's go. The thing that Mitch told me the other day was like, I got to be me, right? I got to be me. And he's definitely being him. And him's enough. Nick McClain, the offenses are rocking for the Devils this inning. A walk, a single, then McClain using the big old part of the ballpark. They arrived on campus. Bouncing ball out towards short. Hainline gets one. Should be able to turn it to throw high. They don't turn it, a run scores. Devils lead it, one to nothing. He had an opportunity right there to change one for two, but only got one there, a little bit high on Bazan's throw. Kind of ended up throwing that one from a lower angle. And a bit at Arizona, now Oregon State. Hit hard toward the hole, diving it jumped. Base hit Sun Devils. The freshman of the year makes it two to nothing. A good swing right there by Conte. Just doing enough. Obviously, they're Oregon State's in double play depth right there. Really, really spin it. And he throws it off the fastball. So at times, he's throwing it so hard that you think it's a fastball. There was a slider high bouncing ball. Nice play charging across. Sometimes that helps you because you're a little bit more fresh. Because at this point in the year, you've thrown a lot of pitches. Slider has popped up. Trotsky. In front of the dugout, puts it away. It's and it's taken a little bit of time to get back on track. You know, there's things change. Or what, how do you see that landscape? To be determined. I mean, I think we're we're going into a, another very competitive baseball conference in the Big 12. We're we're so you know we're so thankful that this event's here in Scottsdale, and it's been a great chance for us to say thank you to so many folks at the Pac-12. As you come in, and you know, we all entered the athletic department for different reasons at different times of life. There go, Ben. I can't see doing a job like this at any other university. You know, ASU has been such a big part of my background. I've benefited so much from it personally. That's probably ever flowing, right? It is, but it's it's an important. There we go. 70 pitches right now for the right-hander. Swing and a miss. It was belt right down the middle. Only got 25 punch outs on the season. Bouncing ball out toward Bazana. He fields and fires out number three. That's ball four. The best high school uniforms in the country. Hit hard and in the hole. Beautiful piece of hitting against the ship. Look at going first to third. The throw is cut off by the shortstop. Turley, great base running. And for Macias, an even better piece of hitting. One and two the count. Inside corner, that's strike three. Coaches, right? You got great coaches. Don't quit. Don't get me wrong. But the best, best teams are the teams that are led by their big leaders on their club. Fly ball center field. There's an RBI. Two to one is the score. 
Yeah, good and really important for Oregon State to answer right there. Last year, all Pac-12 performer. Mason drives that one deep left field. Goodbye. Like I said, you can't miss to a guy with that type of power. Like I said, he's just he's been in a little bit of a slump. But if you miss, especially if you miss up, he's got a chance to hurt you. And he actually he killed the one right there. Oregon State back on top. Yeah, one swing of the bat. Changed the ball game right there. 3 2 Beavs. Into right center field. Jabin Trotsky. Isaiah Jackson puts it away. We don't even mind a sunburn here and there. Line drive left field base hit. Tanner Smith. Big cheer because he's a local product. That's strike three. If it was easy, Darren, everybody would do it. Beautiful pitch right down the middle. Well, we couldn't do it without them. No, it's just invaluable. All the great information. That... Swing and a miss. Have a day. That's that's ten. That's ten strikeouts. Three, two. Bouncing ball. As I said, at an all-time high. He just put a heck of a bat on him and earned the base hit on an elevated fastball. High fly ball down off the end of the bat. Kind of getting through pool play a little bit so far with not big offensive numbers. Last year seemed like the scores were a little bit, a little bit more power this year with a 460 on base. 5-3 ground out. A little gamesmanship out there, but really when it comes to Kelgi, you kind of know it's one of two pitches. And both those pitches are really, really good. This is the postseason. Trotsky. Up and over the head. No play because good wheels. It's so interesting. We talk about how great he plays defensively, Trotsky. Then he challenges his counterpart with that one. There's a chance you might see Bunt here. No, no, no. He does drop it down, and he only plays the first. I see it, Tanner Smith. That's a thing of beauty right there. I might just yell Bazaar and say, hey, yeah, don't even, don't even bring your bat. Right. There you go. Cannon Reader is one of those guys, who, you know, not playing every day this year, but he's got some experience to be ready for next year. Balk was called over just a pop up to the infield. That is strike three as that one had some good run back over the outside corner. They're going to walk Turley. Yeah, you know, I'm a, I guess you're not surprised because Turley, like I said, he's, he's been good in big moments here, but you are loading the bases. Dallas Macias. First pitch in on the hands, popped up. He caught him looking for that breaking ball and into the glove of Mendoza it goes. And you've got a big reaction now in that third base dugout. Fourth rounder if you look at very early projections. And he's pitching his way up that list though with outs like that. That'll do it. Inside corner, strike three. Goes that eight innings and strikes out 12 and they hope only gives up three. That may change though. Pass Tobias, he was playing really tight, and Casper shot it right by him. Into the catcher, Smith held on to that foul tip. That's strike three. Beautiful fastball over the outside corner. Leave that slider, spin it over the plate, he'll knock it out of here. Instead, it's a sinker, and it's a ground ball, a fair ball. Boy, we take him for granted, Drosky. That's a fine defensive play. Oh, yeah. Same type of body type, same type of delivery. That's on the ground. A long way to move for Hainline. Two fine defensive plays. This is an incredible way to end things if they do. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. And Oregon State lives to fight on. They'll need some help, but they have their eyes on the semifinals. Yeah, great job today by the Oregon State pitching staff. You got the solid start from Aiden May. Nelson Keljo came out of the bullpen and was fantastic. And they had the opportunity to give it to their closer, Bridger Holmes, for a 1-2-3.
and a game-winning save. 